Hey guys, Bearded Bricks here, bringing you another video. Uh, first of all, happy May the 2nd. Uh, this video was supposed to go out yesterday, um, but with complications of getting to the Lego store, as you guys saw before, and just rather being a long day, I didn't post the video then. I also wanted to see what else everyone was posting, just to see if my video would be worth it. And... I don't think a lot of people are talking about this, so I think I'm going to go ahead with how you guys should be buying stuff on the first day of the new release, as well as what you should have prioritized, because at the time of making this video, one of these sets you can't buy anymore. But let's jump into it so we can talk about it. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, one of these sets is actually not available anymore, and unfortunately, it is the Superstar Destroyer. It's sold out. Uh, online about 20 minutes after midnight and I was going to the Lego store anyway but all I can see is complaints and people saying oh Lego didn't prepare enough for this set I went to my Lego store and they had 50 or 60 of these things they had a ton of this set and I think this was a better release for Lego um, they had Fang Fighter they had uh, another pirate snub that I was able to grab and, and morally, the point I'm trying to make is they did do very good with their supply for this. There are other stores you can get this from. You can get this from Walmart. You can get this from Amazon. So if you're trying to get this set and you're frustrated you can't get with your VIP points, it's not going to save you that much money in the end. I would just say go to Walmart and buy it if you're in the United States. And if you're not, find an authorized reseller and see if you can get it there. Now, what is important about this Lego release in particular. We got a new X-Wing, and more importantly, we have a new Superstar Destroyer and a bunch of really cool uh, diorama sets. And I managed to get one of them here for you guys today. Personally, I'll tell you right now, if you are trying just to meet the... He fell over, it's fine. If you guys are looking to meet that $150 criteria to get the Death Star and the... Uh, Death Star plans, I recommend just get two sets instead of falling for some of the traps that, that are on the LEGO website. For instance, the Justifier is on sale from LEGO, with, specifically on this, these couple days. And they're trying to lure you in to buy this set because it's not selling well anymore. It's too overpriced, doesn't have good figures, and it just isn't doing well. So they're trying to move these units before the August stuff comes out so they have more room for stuff. Well, you're right, it is an easy buy, but for the same price as that set, you can buy the Star Destroyer and the Emperor's uh, Throne Room diorama. The diorama for the Throne Room is 100 This is 70 So get two of the diorama sets and then collect your Death Star and your other gift with purchase. There's no reason for you guys to go for these other things. If you, For one, if you already have them, don't. But if you do, get them on Amazon. They're cheaper there right now. Um, they're doing a large discount over there as well. Um, and honestly, I would think you'd rather have the money in your pocket than Lego points that you're only going to use several times a year. Now, the other hot set that I'd recommend you guys pick up before it's out of stock from Target or other places is the Pirate, uh, is the TIE Interceptor versus Fang Fighter. Personally, uh, as a $100 set, comes with uh, three figures, uh, one of them being very, very good, and two excellent builds. If you haven't seen my review, you guys should definitely go check out that video. I'll leave it in the bottom of the video for you guys to see. But overall, I think there's a lot of opportunities for you guys to get some really cool stuff with this release if you're going to fork over the cash. Um, for instance, uh, I managed to pick this up a while ago. I just put this here because it is one of the newer sets uh, that I released in the first couple months of this year. and people will be picking it up. Same with the helmets. I don't have enough room on here, but they would be up here if I had the space. I would stay away from the helmet sets. I would stay away from anything that has been released for a while. They'll go on sale again, and you may be able to get them for a better deal later on. I would definitely focus on buying just the newer sets that released, in, with specifically this release. So you have the two diorama sets, the Endor one, which is 80, this one, which is 100. You have the Star Destroyer, which is $80 as well. And then if you really want to go for go go ham and hand over their wallet, you guys should definitely get the X-Wing that released, the new UCS X-Wing for $250. It checks all the boxes, and if you wanted to get two Death Stars, you could buy them separately at the store and get them. Personally, I'm not going to buy it just because I have 
enough X-Wings, I don't think I need another one. Um, but I love what you guys have to say down in the comments. Let me know, do, were you guys lucky enough to get a Star Destroyer? Or did you get the Fang Fighter and listen to my review from a couple days ago? Love to hear what you guys have to say. As always, I've been Bearded Bricks, and I'll see you guys in the next one.